in the rapidity direction. So of course the source source terms has profile uh, which 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 break which can break the uh, uh, the boost invariance. So uh, to actually uh, whenever we have uh, sources from uh, jet, we need to do slip plus one D simulation for hydro. But here uh, it's too, it's it's time consuming. So just to save time. Uh, in this session, we use two plus one D. Uh, we, we use two plus one D hydro uh, here, but it's not realistic. Please be careful. So what we are going to do is not. It's not very realistic simulation. And here, uh, I'd like to show the structure of two-stage hydro option in Jetscape. So in two-stage hydro, uh, which can be specific. So you can use. You can specify this option in XML. So Actually, in this stage hydro, we 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 do a hydro simulation twice. So one the, the for the so first we we simulate the the medium uh, evolution uh, by solving hydro calculation with our system, and we use the result from it, and so we pass the information of the uh, the medium profile evolution, for example, temperature or Low velocities, the hydro profiles are passed to the second simulation. The second simulation is uh, gestural evolution. Uh, so, with those background information, uh, we can solve. Uh, we can we can simulate in medium jet evolution. And here, uh, when 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 we do uh, when you use two, this two stage hydro option, uh, we can set uh, we can set uh, the energy cut for particles. So, if you find uh, patterns in jet below the below the energy cut. Uh, we need to uh, create. We need to generate source for them. So so that information is stored. So we 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 store the information of the deposited particle patterns, and then we do the we do uh, the last simulation. Uh, but the the last one is hydro simulation with uh, with uh, with causal liquefier. So the information of the deposit pattern is passed to uh, the module, which which generates source term, and then the source term is passed to hydro 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 module, and then that hydro module can solve the uh, the hydrodynamic equation with source term, and so by doing this, uh, we can we can we we can obtain the the information of the jet shower and also the the information of the uh, the the medium evolution with the source uh, generated by uh, source uh, generated for the patterns in this med uh, in medium jet shower. So these are uh, these are setup uh, of the simulation we are going to do. So then let's let's do the simulation. Oh, here I, I forgot to mention that. So uh, for so for those two, we use the same initial condition. Okay, so let's move on to uh, actual simulation. So, so uh, we would just so one thing. Uh, so in this okay, so in this uh, session uh, we are going to use uh, Jupyter notebook. So uh, if you are using uh, SSH to use uh, your uh, your machine, so machine in server or something. Uh, please put this uh, this option uh, for uh, when you do SSH. So, if you need to do this, please do it now. And the first thing we need to do is start the Docker container you have just used in Goiko session. If you stopped it, please do it. If you do not stop it, and if you are still in the Docker uh, you just used for Goiko session, uh, please uh, please leave it. So okay, so I'm going to wait for it. So if you have not uh, run, so if you if you have already stopped the Goiko Docker, uh, please rerun it. So I'm going to wait for a while. And if you if you have if you have if you've done. Uh, please, uh, please say yes in the reaction of the Zoom. So I just cleared the poll. When you're done, uh, say yes.
Okay. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, yeah, great. So, okay, ah, uh, yeah, actually the, this option was in the, in the GoI code section. So uh, the, actually the entire uh, command is the same as the one shown in the GoI code session. So I don't think uh, you, know, you, you need to worry about here. So uh, first, uh, I want to ask you to do is uh, obtaining material from Git. So please go to the home directory and please get the material uh, for my session from Jescape Summer School 2020 with this command. So I'm going to wait for a while. And after finishing it, please, uh, please say yes. It can take for a while, uh, depending on your network con uh, condition. Yeah, some questions on the uh, slide. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that question? Okay, I think it's uh, answered. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. I need another minute. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so then, so I assume that you've already uh, got uh, material from uh, the GitHub. Uh, so please go to, so what, uh, so what first thing I, I wanna ask you to do is uh, go to build folder in Jetscape and there, uh, so in this build folder, uh, please copy a uh, material. Uh, so the material I'm going to use is inside of the directory of Midwest session. So please, uh, please copy this uh, folder in the build uh, directory. So please do them, please do it. Please, this, uh, please do these two. Um, for, for this, uh, I don't think I need to wait uh, for a long time. So maybe I can wait for a minute. Okay, so I'm, mo I'm, I'm moving on to the next step. So finally, uh, we can run uh, Jetscape uh, with uh, this uh, two-stage hydro option. So the, the XML file is already in the, in the directory of uh, medium response session, uh, uh, medium response session. So please run Jetscape with the XML specified here. So uh, please run Jetscape. So, and after, after you confirm the end of the Jetscape code, uh, please say yes. 
in on Zoom. So could you do this? And it includes a high low calculation. It can take for a while. So don't forget to vote yes once the process is completed. It's taking some time. Okay, one more minute. Let's go ahead, Yasuki. Okay, then, then what I want to ask you to do is, oh, uh, so I'm going to use a Jupyter notebook, so for the preservation. So please, uh, if you have already launched any Jupyter notebooks on your uh, computer, please close them all first. And then uh, please launch Jupyter notebook inside the Docker with this command. And then you can, and, and, and then, uh, so here in this command, you, you uh, with this command, you, you, uh, you save some output from Jupyter notebook. And if you open it, uh, you can see uh, some URLs. And I wanna ask you to uh, open the one starting with uh, HTTP uh, column uh, slash slash one, two, seven, da, da, da. So uh, this guy, and please open it with your browser that I want to ask you. So please do it. And after finishing it, uh, please say yes.
Okay, I think we can go ahead. Mm -hmm. Then what I wanna uh, I wanna uh, you to open is inside the uh, the medium response session. So now you you open the uh, Jupyter notebook and you can see this kind of director directory uh, structure in your in your uh, browser. So please click medium response session first. And inside of this medium list uh, session uh, directory, uh, you can find a notebook file uh, with the hydro movie uh, dash medium response dot ipynb. So please open this guy. First, you click the medium response session and open the hydro, hydro movie response. And we have no votes, so what does everyone vote on? Yeah, so maybe I should switch to, uh, so now I think you can see my uh, command line. So then what I need to do is open Jupyter notebook with it. And open this guy. Uh, okay, then uh, yeah, here this is my Jupyter notebook. So, first, you need to click medium response session, and then you need to choose the hydro medium dash medium uh, response dot ipnb then you can see this notebook so in this notebook if you do shift plus enter and then you can move to the next column after uh, so then so then the the code uh, written in the co uh, this uh, co uh, this uh, this space uh, will be uh, executed so after 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 you did doing a shift plus enter so please do it like this shift plus return then you can see number here after finishing the code you can see the number like this so this code is done so then you can continue it and then you can continue it and you can continue and in the fourth column, uh, you can see uh, you can see uh, two file names. So one is evolution for movie X Y eta music one dot that. Actually, this file store the hydrodynamic evolution history for the first run in in, in two stage hydro, and the other one is uh, blah 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 music two dot that. This file store the information of the second run of the hydro. It means this guy contain the, uh, this guy uh, has the, so in the simulation for this guy has the source term from the jet evolution. So uh, we need to compare these two to see the effect of hydrodynamic, uh, hydro, hydro excitation induced by jet. So in here, so we open these two files and then store the information of those in, in arrays in the, in the, in the Python code. So please do shift and enter. So, and actually it can take for a while because the, ah, it's done. So if you see fall here, it's done. And then you can continue it. Why don't we pause a moment and uh, okay. ask people to vote if they are up to where you are with this number four in the notebook. Okay, so yeah, here. So before, before this line, one dot plot to a, uh, to the count uh, in the 
transfer thing. So uh, if you if you uh, suc uh, if, if you successfully done the call before here, please say yes in the Zoom. Okay, looks like people are caught up. You can go ahead. Okay, then what we are going to do first is plot a contour plot in in the transverse plane, and we, what what we're gonna see is the temperature difference caused by jet propagation. So we compare the result with uh, compare the result from the simulation with hydro medium uh, hydro uh, with excitation by jet. And the the one without the jet evolution, uh, jet, jet, one without the source from the jet, and so what we are going to see is a snapshot of the temperature difference uh, distribution at uh, tau equal eight point two Fermi, and that you can generate with uh, the code here. So if if you uh, if you can learn. If you fin if you finish writing this code, you can see this kind of figure, this kind of plot. This is uh, so this is temperature difference caused by uh, jet propagation. So in this simulation, as I told you, that jet uh, is generated at origin uh, at t equals zero, and it's propagating in x direction in this simulation. So this the sent the and, so this arrow shows the expected path of the parent pattern, but it can split. Uh, so, so the jet can split. So the, actually, it's not. It's not. It's, it does not correspond to the actual uh, center of the jet. But so you can estimate. Uh, you can you, still you can estimate it. So jet is going in this direction, and here you can see a higher temperature region uh, caused by jet. So uh, and. So this is jet induced. So this is you can see the effect of the jet induced flow here, and also you can see uh, a region slightly uh, colored blue here. So so uh, jet energy deposition does uh, can give us uh, not only a high temperature region, but it can give us this kind of lower temperature region like this. So, uh, so everybody can see this plot in, in your laptop. So, if you if you can uh, if you generated uh, your own plot, please say yes. Okay, we're good shape. Okay, so then let's see the same the the similar plot in. How explain? So if you learn the code written in this column, then you can see this kind of plot. So this dash two, two dash line shall indicate the the uh, the border of the light cone. So now actually the the jet is propagating uh, along this line and going in this direction. So here you can see right uh, right behind the jet you can see high temperature region and also uh, you can see a uh, lower temperature region like this in tau x uh, tau in, in, in tau x plane so please uh, please make sure you can get this plot and if you if you confirm it please say yes Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. So finally, so so we want to see something move. So uh, so let's generate a movie of two D contour plot in transverse plane. So here we saw a snapshot uh, in transverse plane, but let's see 
the the movie version of it. So the that the last column is the call to generate a movie for it. And so yeah, Suki, so there are some requests to go slower. Um, ah, okay. People to follow. And there's also a request to, to go to a breakout run. Um, so Peter, can you? Yeah, I will uh, handle the breakout room. Let me see how to do that. Okay. So do anyone have, does anyone have any problem uh, with running uh, the code in Jupyter Notebook here? So everybody can generate plots and movie. So uh, actually I actually haven't uh, do say anything about movie. I'm going to say, uh, tell something about it, but uh, I want just, I want to make sure you can generate uh, two plots and one movie with the code in the notebook. Okay, so just, just one moment of uh, comment on procedure. So there were, there's one person who was uh, a little behind. I just sent that person mm -hmm. to the breakout room. Uh, mm -hmm. We should keep going because it looks like the majority of people are doing well keeping up with okay. Um If others uh, need some additional help, um, raise, I guess, the coffee cup and I'll send you to the breakout room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So uh, actually, yeah. yeah, thanks. So with the code in the last column, actually you can generate the movie, but uh, after finishing the movie, so it's, it stopped with the, the time, uh, the, the, the time of the end of the simulation. So if you, uh, if you uh, get rid of a uh, hash, in the last line like this. So we, we had we, we, we had hash here, but if you uh, if you get rid of hash uh, here, uh, here uh, and then you can save animation. But here, uh, let me generate the, but we, let me generate the, the, uh, the movie again. So here, as you can see, uh, uh, you, you, so you can see, uh, you can see appearance of uh, arrow and arrow is moving to right. And so uh, following the arrow, you can see some temp, uh, temp uh, high temperature region induced by uh, jet energy momentum deposition. And behind of it, you can see a blue region. So it's, it has temperature lower than the original medium, uh, or, uh, medium uh, original medium temperature. And uh, so, uh, so, oh, okay, so it's not very good. I, the movie is not played properly. So now jet is propagating in X direction and you can see uh, higher temperature region uh, caused by the jet propagation like this. And also jet propagation can give us uh, some, uh, some region which is lower than the original medium temperature. And uh, uh, it's, uh, I'm connecting Zoom so Oops. 
the movie is movie skipped a lot. So, uh, let me. I, anyway, I hope you uh, I hope you generated uh, the movie properly. So uh, now you can see uh, the movie uh, of the medium pro, uh, medium temperature, uh, uh, including the hydro response effect. So that's all I prepared for this session. So I wanna. Uh, I want to come back to uh, my slide. So I, in this session, uh, I asked you to I asked you to uh, use the XML file I've already prepared for this session, but I, 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 I want to uh, explain how, how it's written briefly. So, so uh, let me summarize, uh, let, me, uh, let me briefly introduce how, what we need to do for in XML file for two-stage hydro. So in two-stage hydro, actually you need to uh, you need to put hydro module twice like this. So you can use the, uh, the XML you've just used as an example. And you can see uh, you have two hydros and first run and the second run. And in the second run, we need to have a source term. So we, we specify it. So here we have a line, add liquefier true, add liquefier. So uh, this is uh, this is uh, this should be uh, written here. So and then also uh, we need to add liquefier module. So so we have separated liquefier module, which uh, and the 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 one we have in JetScape is called causal liquefier. So you need to load it to use liquefier. Uh, so this guy generates source term in Hydro. Uh, by using the information from uh, jet, in, uh, jet, uh, jet energy loss modules. And then in the jet energy loss module, also you need to specify uh, whether you include a liquefier or not. So you need to, uh, you need to add this line just uh, before the end of the, the tag of, for, the e, for, the, for the E loss. So you need to, you need to put this guy uh, in, in the default in the setting of uh, energy loss modules. So uh, these three uh, uh, these three are basic, uh, basic stuff you need to include in, in XML to run, uh, run JetScape with the two-stage hydro option. So uh, actually uh, that's all from me. So, uh, so uh, if you have any further question, please uh, put on Slack. So thank you very much. Thank you, Yasuki. Mm -hmm. So uh, people can also ask verbal questions right now. I guess you can unmute yourself. Don't see any additional questions on Slack and no verbal questions. Mm -hmm. People are satisfied. I hope so. Abhijit, are you back? Yes, I am back. I see a, a coffee cup. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> and you can make me host again, I think. All right, I'll do that. And then you can handle it. Okay, Abhijit, I am passing it back to you and I actually have to go. I have another meeting to go to. Okay, thank you, Peter. Well, thanks to you, to Yasuki and to Goiko and to all of the um, participants. And uh, uh, I haven't been participating in a lot of the school, but I found it really very interesting and stimulating and it looks like people are getting a lot out of it. So very good all around. Congratulations to everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, Peter. Peter. Thank you. So Yasuki, what else do you have left? Sorry, uh, I've I already to... done every, uh, the, everything I prepared, so. Okay. Yeah, I, I've just finished, yes. So, um, I see that we are now also dying, I mean, going down to 90 participants. Um, if you have any burning questions, uh, mm -hmm. please raise your hand on the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should clear up a misstep that I have uh, had in my session about uh, recoils. Yeah, one second. Just let me quickly get this. Um, okay, so there's a person with a raised hand, um, Tong Liu. Uh, so I'm just going to unmute. So you're not unmuted. Go ahead, ask your question. All right, thank you. So uh, my question is um, yes, to uh, Yasuki, actually. So there are like uh, these two. Um, uh, liquefier and uh, energy loss modules. Um, I just wanted mm -hmm. to make sure, like, how would you actually say um, uh, encode these stuff? For example, if I want to have like one of my own modules like this, how can I add this to say, for example, like the uh, the whole framework? Yeah. Mm, so, what kind of um, uh, what kind of module you want to make by yourself? So. Uh, well, actually, want... I'm not like pretty. Sh I mean, I mean, I'm just like it. It just came to my head. I don't have something particular uh, in uh, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But for example, if I want to have say uh, my own energy loss module, uh, 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 mm -hmm. and or my own like say more more specific, my own like a fire, then uh, I I supposedly yeah. I will need to like uh, you know mm -hmm. have my own. Uh, code and try and squeeze it into the framework, right? So how would you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So here, uh, so the best thing, uh, best way to do it is following the structure uh, used in Matter and LBT. But here, so uh, here, uh, one thing I can say here is so uh, I told you that. So so let me come back to the the basic setup uh, used in this uh, session. So here I told you that there is a cut uh, and if you, uh, if you find a pattern below the cut, uh, the, the information of the pattern is passed to liquefier and then we, we create system. So, and then, uh, then if you uh, have a pattern in below the cut, the, the, the pattern is, uh, uh, detached from the, the in medium shower. So this part is actually not done in any modules. It's done at framework level. So, uh, okay. so uh, other than that, it, it is done in each module. So if you want to modify, uh, if you want to modify energy loss, uh, for example, if you want to use a uh, different energy, uh, energy uh, loss uh, uh, formulation, uh, you need to have your own, uh, own uh, energy loss module. And if you, can, if you want to have a uh, different source profile generated by uh, causal liquefier, uh, you can make your own, uh, own liquefier. But, uh, but if you want to modify this, structure here. So, uh, I mean, the structure which give us, uh, which give us the cat for the pattern that you need to hack the flip, hack the code at framework level. So that is, uh, so, so what you can do uh, by having your, uh, having your own uh, module is so, you, so uh, applying different uh, energy loss formalism or uh, 
applying uh, uh, using different uh, solstan profile uh, for the solstan used in hydrodynamics. So that too you can do with uh, within the module of your own. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I add something to this real quick? Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, so, for instance, if you want to add your own module as far as like another matter or another LVT or Martini, um, the, the Jetscape framework, actually there's documentation online that was published in March of uh, 2019 that tells you how to add those modules. It, does, mm -hmm. it sort of does that at a quick overview level, but if you really want to know about the nitty gritty details, after reading that, what I would highly recommend is that you re read how actually, for instance, matter is implemented. So they give you specifically for matter um, in the in the in on on the um, uh, module uh, on the archive um, the, the documentation there they, they specifically tell you how to add matter and then once you've read that you can literally start looking at the code and from the code figure out how to how to implement it in more detail so that's that's how I would recommend to do this is read the read the framework and then after that look at the code that's already available and implement your own using the, the, the structure that's already built in in such a way that you don't have to figure it out by yourself. It's already there. Thank you, Goiko. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. I noticed that we're now beginning to lose participants. We start, we were at 105, 106 at the beginning, and now we're at 76. Um, I don't know if many of you know, Yasuki is actually giving this lecture from Japan. So it's now almost close to 1 a.m. his time, <laughs> <laughs> which is why he looks a little tired. <laughs> um, are there any burning questions? Um, okay. Uh, I'm just looking for raised hands. Any burning questions that for Yasuki? I'll give it a minute that you want to ask verbally. No, okay. So I think we can now, um, sort of formally end uh, Yasuki's session. Um, you can stop sharing if you want, Yasuki. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Goiko had, had some comments he wanted to make. Well, it's, it's, it's basically, it, it ties into what Yasuki was doing, right? It's about the stat uh, thing, mm -hmm. right? So the, the stat flag that I was talk, talk, talking about in my lecture, I said minus one was for recoils. Uh, uh, Yasuki, I believe you said you corrected me, and you said that stat minus one is reserved for the source terms for your, for your hydro, right? Uh, it's for uh, pick up energy and momentum from the uh, pick up energy and momentum from the medium. So they are the they, the, the particle with stat my equal minus one must be subtracted from the final uh, spectrum. Right, because they need to go into yeah. the hydro ultimately, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, so that's, I yeah, flipped yeah. the sign basically. I ended up flipping the sign between the recoil and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, right, 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 right. Uh, uh, the, the negative, flag. negative or holes or something, whatever. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I flipped yeah. the sign. Mm. The recoils are, are one basically, and then the minus one is the, um, is the source. Yeah, I, for I, it sometimes is confusing terminology. So there's a particle that comes out of the medium. I think, which will engage in a scattering with a parton in the jet. Right. Um, and that's the one. And so when, after it has a scattering, there's a hole in the medium created because that particle has been knocked out of its momentum right. state. And so that hole is basically the minus one, right? And, right. And the plus yes, one, yes, is yes. The, and the plus one is the other guy, the guy that was picked up basically. The guy, the anti-hole, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I, I flipped the sign for some reason when I was, I'll update all of my slides and, and repost them accordingly. Right. So all the slides would be updated and reposted with the solutions to the assignments that you had. They're um, already up. The solutions okay. are already up, including right. the, 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 the CXX files, the, 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 the C files. Um, 
The other thing I wanted to comment to everybody just before we close is that the channels will remain open. The channels on Slack will remain open. So if you still have questions, keep asking them on these channels. Um, and we will get to them uh, in, in, in time. Uh, from tomorrow, of course, as, I don't know if, if, you, if you guys have checked the schedule, we're going to make a big change in, um, in the direction we're going. And we've been doing dealing with physics and software for the last week and one day. And from tomorrow, we will move to statistics. So that's going to be a, a, a big change. So definitely get ready for that tomorrow. Uh, different channels again. And I don't see any more questions on the Zoom. Um, if you have uh, questions on the Slack, let that discussion continue. And I'd like to now thank Yasuki and Goiko. Um, Yenji and Peter and the TAs, Amit and Chatur and everybody else who helped. I don't know if Christine is still around. Uh, I think we should now close the session. Yeah, one last comment that I, uh, I wanted to make is that there's sort of a continuity between our sessions and the next session. Our sessions is more about, okay, what are the flags and, and, and how uh, doing calculations. And then the next uh, two sessions about Bayesian analysis are going to be tuning those flags, so to speak, to get close to experimental data. I hear no objection. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, today's session is closed. See you again tomorrow. Same place, same time. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.